They fucking left. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. That had to have been like an old like thing so that your fucking screen doesn't burn in. Oh, man. Because laptops could do that. It would like burn into your laptop screen. So that's why they were like screensavers. Anyway, hi. Welcome to two Gen X, Gen X Gen Z kids play fucking 1993 LucasArts game. Uh... <laughs> Uh, I am, um, as a, as once, as always, joined by my good friend, Ren. Hello. Um, previously on Journey to the West, what happened? Um, we started this game, and I very quickly realized we're too stupid to play this game. <laughs> um, we're being very autistically stared at right now. Um... Uh, and what happened? So we were playing Sam and Max Hit the Road, and we're on, we are we started on a mission to find a single Bigfoot, and now it kind of seems like we're tracking down no fewer than three. Um, and we ended last time with uh, letting the two from the carnival go from Bumpusville, because they were being held prisoner and being forced to be entertaining um we got a sick fucking ditty out of it don't let anyone tell you king of the creatures is a bad song that song slaps um and we were given a new location last time i recall this um and also we spent and just an infuriatingly long amount of time <laughs> trying to figure out the fucking controls <laughs> But, but, We're we move on. Now. <laughs> we move on. We go. That's in the past. We're okay. We, we vaguely understand this game. God, I hope there's nothing else that we have to do here. Because I'm going to be slightly upset. <laughs> uh, where's the car? Are you the car? Good, okay. <laughs> um, our next location was out out here in Nevada, Nevada. This place is tiki rific. Tiki rific? Yeah, I feel immersed in native culture. I just hope this place has authentic savage tiki drinks with that authentic tiki tang. Uh, so we're at the Savage Jungle Inn. Welcome, Padaiju. It's <laughs> really gifted. Um, there was a, uh, a convent, like a Bigfoot convention or something that was happening yeah. here. And we were like, oh fuck, they're probably all here. It's a miniature mighty volcano, lending authenticity to this jungle motif. Looks like a gopher mound. You look like a gopher mound. Shut up. Savage Jungle Inn. Good job. You're doing, you're doing better than me, Sam. You can read. You're doing fucking fantastic. All right. Can I look at the... No? We're just going inside? We're just going inside. Not now, Jesus. Can you be patient? <laughs> oh my god. Wow, right away. <laughs> right away, sir. We are in barely public. <laughs> it's a phone booth with privacy shading. Can we break in? <laughs> Bitch, me too, the fuck? <laughs> I had no one to call. Call me, call me. You'd have to get cellular. I'm pixular. It's better than cellular. That's bad, Max. Really bad. Who cares? I'm cute. Jeez. <laughs> this motherfucker. It's my favorite. <laughs> Get 
it over here. I remember seeing this movie in theaters when I was a pup. During the climactic scene, they dropped giant rubber snakes on the audience. Why don't they make movies like that anymore? Higher standards? Probably. I wonder if this bird talks. Maybe it'll give us an important clue. Nah, that'd be stupid. Don't hurt the toucan! Stop it! Max! Max. Stop it! I can't take you anywhere, Jesus! No, he's coming back for round two. <laughs> I'm sorry you're impatient. We're on a goddamn case right now. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. Let me do I it. I want to be a little silly goofy. Little Don't silly. be silly. Sam. I want to be silly goofy. Here, you know what? I'll talk to Max. I'm filled with disgust and an odd sense of foreboding. And? You're looking hale and hearty, little- I'm a cop! Oh my god, can you get a new line, my man? Can you get a new line? Well, that's all. I cannot. I can't- we can't- please, please, Max, we can't keep doing this. Who the who fuck are you? Hey, aren't you Evelyn Morrison, famed B movie star? Yes, I am she. I've seen all your movies. My favorite was Robot Terror from Beyond the Galaxy. Is that the one where the alien says Clam Do Beretta Nimno? No, that's Vampirus in Prison. Oh yeah. Would you like Evelyn Morrison's autograph? Actually, we just want to ask a few questions. Evelyn Morrison is always available for interviews. Dang, am I? Oh, God. No. Army of Darkness. Is that the joke I'm trying to... Who cares? Anyway. Um, let's ask the same two questions we ask everybody. <laughs> Bigfoot! Have you had any problems with the Bigfoots? Evelyn Morrison has always worked well with grotesque creatures of the night. I'll take that as a no, then. Evelyn Morrison is a monster fucker. <laughs> Evelyn, Evelyn Morrison's aftercare of the big kids is fucking insane. What a lie. I take good care of those motherfuckers. You haven't seen a short, self-absorbed, crazy-as-a-bedbug country western singing star around here, have you? If you mean Conroy Bumpus, Evelyn Morrison had him ejected from the premises hours ago. Why? He was harassing Evelyn Morrison's guests. Oh, she's actually, like, cool. She's pretty slow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Evelyn Morrison. <laughs> has made a safe space. <laughs> we do not- Evelyn Morrison doesn't tolerate haters. Action! I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Corman. I have the sudden craving for an umbrella drink. Evelyn Morrison's Jungleen has the greatest umbrella drinks in the world, with over 237 kinds of rum. All in just one drink? Which way to the bar? Take it easy, Max. You don't even drink. Oh, yeah. The toucan must have put words into my mouth. That's what you get for being rude. I'll get back to you later. Evelyn Morrison will be here. In the meantime, why not take some of these brochures? They have Evelyn Morrison's autograph on them, making them must-have collectibles. Thanks. It's Max. It's Evelyn Morrison, B movie star. It's Evelyn Morrison, B. That's a particularly big Bigfoot. I want to look at the. I want to look at the rock. I want to look at my friend Dwayne Johnson. Can I grab? 
He's not my type. <laughs> you know, one of these days it'll stop being funny. I'm so sorry. He's not my type. Where are you? Come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Where the fuck did you go? <laughs> we oh. have to do the bit. He's still in my <laughs> hand. God damn it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> Can I... Oh, so guys, why does it count as facts? <laughs> Alright, what's up? I don't indiscriminately use people. Oh, except shit. Max. Wrong button, sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, girly. What's up in there? Big time, big foot party. Night. Okay. You wanna talk? Sounds like some kind of shindig. It's the event of the century. Can I... Give me... Can you give me anything? How's the band? Pretty happy as far as I can tell. Don't give us nothing. Don't give us nothing. <laughs> can I? Can I interest you? Sir. Can I interest you? In this goddamn thing that's been in our inventory. This seems like it will help you. Right? Here. Ooh. Ah. This is great. Really great. I owe you guys. Noises are so unnecessary. <laughs> now can we talk to you? What's up in there? Big time Bigfoot party. No? Uh, fuck me, I guess. Okay. Can we go in the big time Bigfoot party? Stop! Okay, Only shit. Sasquatches and their dates are allowed on the convention floor. We right. can get ourselves a hot date. Max, are you doing anything tonight? No, you're not. You're with me. <laughs> you're with me. Okay. So I guess we gotta get ourselves some. Fu <laughs> Sorry, they look really tiny. <laughs> I love pixel art with my entire arm. <laughs> look at that. Max didn't even have a fucking face. <laughs> this, the like, the if I was to get like, like, um. You know, you know the thing where it's like you put a bunch of beads down and then you like iron it and it becomes like a cute little yeah. pixely thing. This is what I would want. <laughs> that that's look at that. He doesn't even have. This is the cutest little thing I've ever seen. When you hum, Sam, it sounds like a high voltage tower. These are pamphlets for the Mount Rushmore Dinosaur Tar Pit and Bungee Jumping National Park in North Dakota, and some place called the Celebrity Vegetable Museum in Goat Liver, Texas. If goat I think I like the humming better. If Goat Liver, Texas isn't a real place, I'm gonna cry. I'm googling it right now. <laughs> Dinosaur, and we have a tomato with a face. Do we have a preference? I have terrible news. <laughs> no! No, it lied to me. This game lied to me. How could it do that? That's so rude. <laughs> All right, between um, dinosaur and tomato, do we have a preference? I am intrigued by celebrity vegetable farm. Um, also, <laughs> we have a Texas. So. <laughs> celebrity vegetable museum. What detail? See the carrot leaning out of the book depository? Never mind that. What about the string beans behind the fence on the grassy knoll? The 
this is the weirdest thing I've ever fucking seen. The, you know what this is? This feels like a really, and I say this with so much love, this feels like a really specific Etsy store. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like yeah. someone could make fucking yeah. bank off this. And, and, like, what, 30 years later? So this is where it all happens. It's making me hungry, Sam. You don't want to eat these veggies, little buddy. They've all got faces on them. And? guys is the walrus. The celery stalk. Remaindered Conroy Bumpus eggplants. I guess his 15 minutes of fame are about up. I can't believe Harrison actually agreed to this. It is a stunning likeness though. It's amazing what they can do with mushrooms. It's amazing what anyone can do with mushrooms, Bestie. <laughs> What's up? What the holy mother of gourd is this? Oh, isn't it obvious? I grow vegetables in the shapes of famous celebrities. For a small fee, I'll grow a vegetable from a photograph. Oh, that would have been my second guess. So what do you know? So what do you know about Bigfoots? Well, they don't translate well into vegetables. I've been experimenting with the idea for a while. There's just no such thing as a furry vegetable. Check out our fridge. Yeah, girlie, you're not trying hard enough. What prompted that batch of Conroy heads over there? Well, I was trying a new growth hormone for some of my more distinguished personalities when I realized it was no good. Now it won't stop. They just keep growing like that. Big misshapen growths on top. Reminded me of Conroy Bumpus, so I ran a special. Get his ass. <laughs> I grow more fascinated by the moment. So what's the biggest thing in vegetable celebrities right now? I can't believe I lived long enough to hear you say that, Sam. You may not believe this, Sonny. But the biggest thing right now is miniaturization. Miniaturization? Peas. Peas? I know, I know, it seems impossible. All we are saying is give peas a chance. Loving peas or whatever. <laughs> well, bye. Oh, oh, hell yeah. Man. <laughs> You're going right in the box. Can I not? Okay. Can I? Hold on. We've we've fucked up like this before. Can I go back there? <laughs> no, okay. I'm gonna believe you if you say I can't go back there, alright? Don't be fucking lying to me, okay? Don't fucking lie to me. We're going to Autism Central, let's go. Oh man. <laughs> Are those, Sam? They've got their little, like, From the size of their grand fibular extensions, I'd say they were a couple of brick brachiosaurs Are they dangerous? They're only robots, Max. Dinosaurs have been extinct for millions of years. No one tells me anything. 
got their own, like, sensory station over here. <laughs> Except it is very much bungee jumping. <laughs> Where the fuck are you going? Where the fuck are you going? At least the DeSoto stopped making that funny noise. I did not look at the I told you not to run over that biker gang. <laughs> I did not fucking look at the DeSoto. <laughs> He just walks all the way back, it's like, yep, that's my car. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Push button to hear Rex speak. It's a fearsome mall. How about we push button? Can I push button? Hi, my name is Rex, the Thunder Lizard. During the late Jurassic period, I was king of the dinosaurs. As you can see, my tiny forearms are quite useless. But I more than make up for it with my powerful tail, my muscular legs, and my savage razor-sharp teeth. Some people make fun of me because I've got a brain the size of a walnut. But they usually stop making fun of me after I eat them. Hi, my name is Rex, the Thunder Lizard. That was informative. T-Rex with a lisp is my new favorite character. <laughs> I've seen hair like this somewhere before. Your butt? No, this hair has the same coarseness as Sasquatch hair. You don't suppose they skin Sasquatches to make this cheesy roadside attraction? Who knows? More importantly, who cares? So true, girly. I guess. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Alright, I can't just fucking, like, grab it? What the fuck? Can Max grab it? Hey, Max. Hey, what? I've got a job for those mighty incisors of yours. What? You said we were on a job! See that woolly mammoth? <laughs> what about it? Stop playing dumb and get chomping. Fine work, Max. Now we've got more full woolly mammoth hair than we'll ever need, and we've learned an important lesson. Yeah, the woolly mammoths died of embarrassment. Oh, we have so much f Okay. Okay. We have- Okay. Okay. So we just have... Even more fucking... What, can we, I swear to God, doing fucking laundry and getting all this fucking hair out is gonna be... Fucking... <laughs> terrible. I can't get over how much this mammoth hair resembles Sasquatch hair. We literally hair. already grabbed it. We already grabbed it. Shut up. Hi, I'm Wally, the woolly mammoth. I may be extinct now, but during the Ice Age, I was king of the mammals. Hi. That was informative. I don't know who the fuck decided the voices for these little guys, but I love them. <laughs> Troy Baker who? This is the voice direction <laughs> that we needed. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. This place evokes a sense of wonder. You have to wonder. Hey, are you okay? Are you okay, bud? No, you're having a you're having a you're having a good time. What's going on here, you cute little ragamuffin? What does it look like, Barface? You should show more respect toward your elders, Sonny. Respect this, Bowser Breath. Ooh, can I pummel him now, Sam? No, Max. Puberty will be punishment enough for this one. True. Okay! God damn! God damn! <laughs> We want to ride the tar slide. Line forms in the back, Shep. 
Oh, the humanity. Where? You know what? They were right. They were right. Kids are assholes. So long, squirt. Okay. Oh, it's a natural woodland creature enjoying the advancements of humankind. And his friend with the snout seems to be submerged in the fun as well. I can't remember the last time I saw so much tar. Me neither, but my long-term memory is virtually non-existent. Fucking cheers, I'll drink to that. <laughs> this line's not moving very quickly. The same thing could be said about the plot. That's not funny, Max. It's a little funny. It's Max. It's not. I mean, it is, but... I just... Looks like this elevator will take us up into Washington's nose. I want to see the You Must Be This Tall sign and see if Max calls anyone a fucking fascist. <laughs> Looks like the... Alright. Fuck me, I guess. She's not my type. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. I, can't, I can't click him. There we go. <laughs> this... Are you in charge here? Yes. I'm an Olympic bungee jumper, and I know everything there is to know about bungee jumping. Olympic bungee jumping? Well, she sounds sure. What do I do? The principles are important to master. Get a safety harness from behind that little screen over there. Once that's on, it's important that you jump from the board toward the pit of tar below. But I'm sure a great big hunk of fur like yourself would have no problem. Yeah, sounds easy. Looks dangerous. Girl, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I, really can you not <laughs> see that I'm so clearly with my husband? Is, how is this evading you? Hey, that furry pig thing is still down there. That's the beauty of this tar. It's always at the right consistency and temperature. It could be days before you sink too low for us to find you. I'm convinced. Let's go, flyboy. My nose is running. Whose isn't? Girl. Bye. So long, cutie. Girl! Girl. There's so many reasons. She must be the instructor on duty. Girl, there's so many reasons. Stop Quit it! that. <laughs> So, what do you think? It fits you just fine. Stop it! Ooh, stand back. Enough. She may pounce. It's a danger I face every day. So, Max, what do you think? A regular 007. Are you sure? Clint Baby would be nervous. But get moving. I'm beginning to think you're stalling. Clint. Baby. Who's stalling? I'm just waiting for my buddy to come here and check out this spectacular view. Large, sturdy Snucky's cup. Grab it. Thank you. I, I didn't need to know that. Perhaps. 
I can't use these okay, things fine, together. I guess. Never mind. Whatever. Maybe we have to wait for the bottom? <laughs> See? <laughs> Do I have to use it on Max? There we go. Hey! Have a cup full of tar. It's a large, sturdy, no. it's a large, sturdy Snuckies cup. Do we use them in combination? I can't use these things together. Oh, I've lost my fucking time, I guess. Max. No, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it again. You're gonna do what I goddamn asked you to do. We're gonna hear this noise 15 more times until I can fucking figure it out. I better pick up the tar first. <laughs> Sir, are you not low enough? What is the problem? What is your fucking problem? There we go. There. Got it. Alright. Try three. As we all know, it takes no fewer than six to get the fucking plot moving. Alright, we got there. We got there. We got there. We're good. We're good. We got it. We got it. This is- see, this is how this entire game is a study into how ADHD brain works, right? There we go. Right? Because we can know what we have to do, it's just there's always a step that's missing that we haven't figured yeah. out, right? Usually that step in a metaphorical sense is the diagnosis, but like, because we can know something's wrong and we can we can understand, oh, maybe there's a thing here, but if we don't, if we don't have the ability to see a doctor and have them tell us, perhaps, that, oh, there's something wrong with your brain and we're like, no, we know, but like, what? And they're like, shh. Oh wait, I have to probably return the gear, don't I? I don't think I can walk away with it. That would be cute though. I don't indiscriminately use people, <laughs> except um, Max. Thank you. Uh, can I? She's not my type. Great. I would like to leave. Do I have to hit the button? There we go. Okay. Um. This has been. What has this been? I don't even know. Alright, so we have... Some tar now, which is always a fun little accessory to have in your pocket. <laughs> Doing laundry after this case is gonna suck. something. I don't know why we would need to. Just yet. But I believe there is something else that we need to do here. Maybe later. Not that. Alright. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's, right in front of the dinosaurs. Let's do it. <laughs> I feel like... That's a good idea, but there's nothing for the twine to catch on. I can't use these things together. On that. Maybe later. No! Okay. <laughs> I swear to God, there's like a. Th I don't know. I don't know. Well, we will come back to that, but I swear to God, that's like a. Th this is a completely unusable <laughs> thingamabob. It's your car! <laughs> What do you mean? What the fuck do you mean, Sam? Out of- alright, alright. Question for you, my good friend, Ren. 
Yes. If you could bungee jump out of any president on Mount Rushmore's nose, who would you pick? Um. That's a good question. Um. I don't know. I, I'm feeling Lincoln for some reason. You going Lincoln? Yeah, I'm going Lincoln. Um. I think I'm more of a Washington bitch myself. I feel like they'd all be fun. They would. They would all. They like. I would want to do them all at least once for the experience. But like. It's one of Conroy's toupees. Can I... This is a LucasArts game. I wonder. Can I... Stay out. Did we get to keep the wig? Yes! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh god, okay. Let's fucking ride. Oh, do we have to cover ourselves in tar and put the hair on ourselves? <laughs> to fucking get into the party. <laughs> it says, you give us Neil Jitney. Close enough for jazz. Let's go. <sighs> I wonder, okay, do I have to like, how much do I have to manually do? Oh, that looks nasty. It's a bunch of tar with hair in it. Ew. <laughs> this is the worst. I can't use these All things right. together. Alright, fine, fine, fine. Can we just go in? I had no one to call. Oh my god, do I have to... Okay. Alright. 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 Can we do it this way? I can't use these things together. Can we do it this way. I can't use these things together. How the fuck do you want me to do this? Is this not what the fuck? Hold on. What? Do you, what how do you want me to fucking do this? I can't use these things together. I can't use these things together. Am I missing a step? I missed a step. Got it. Got it. Got it. Great. Now we've got a Stiltwalker's costume covered with tar and faux woolly mammoth hair. Got it. Oh, that looks so gross. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. It's gonna be a sensory nightmare to wear. God. <laughs> okay, I've attached Conroy Bumpus toupee to the Stiltwalker's costume. It's all bad. It's all bad, it folks. It keeps getting worse. It keeps <laughs> getting worse. Get in. I can't use these things oh together. Oh my god, Maxwell. I guess we could try it on. Get in here. Hmm. Hey, that's a downright nice Sasquatch costume. I'll let you guys in with that one. <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> He's like, I know that's fake, but damn, that looks kinda sick. Looks like something important's happening. Hundreds of years ago, it was becoming apparent that our time was running out. Yet we were slow to heed the warnings of impending doom. 
the seemingly slow encroachment of mankind and all that his many living styles entail seemed like a vague and distant problem, a problem for future generations of Yeti to solve. Blithely, we sat back, ignoring our own inner call for action. Tradition and the status quo were our excuses for complacency, the certainty of not just losing our way of life, but possibly our very lives, and the demise of our entire race is now becoming a reality, a reality we can no longer choose to ignore. As it turns out, the humans and their technology are moving faster than we are, much faster than we had anticipated. And so we now face the final crisis. Unless we pull together, not just acknowledging the need for change, but embracing change not just with our hearts and our minds, but with our actions, we will fall behind, moving backward into extinction. Well, back to the music. Sorry, is this... <laughs> Did they just Lorax our ass? What just happened? Okay. <laughs> sure. I'm a big fan of this uh, guy up here who's working the, who's working the spotlight. <laughs> Step on your feet, sure. He looks happy in a gluttonous kind of way. He's not my type. Can't grab him. He's not my type. Why do you have tits? Why do you have Why tits? Do you have tits? <laughs> He's not my type. I mean, I'm not gonna stop her from having tits. It's just, I. Why did you need them? That she's a woman <laughs> without her tits and bigger eyelashes. Is he my type? He looks spooky in a cheery sort of way. She looks friendly in a scary sort of way. I see the pattern I was supposed to do that in. Hold on, I'm gonna let that punchline hit. She looks friendly in a scary sort of way. He looks spooky in a cheery sort of way. And then we come over here. He looks happy in a gluttonous kind of way. Get that one, two, three, baby, let's roll. All right. What's up? So, fellow smelly woodland creature, where have you been hiding for the past few years? Hiding? Dude, I've spent the last eight years manacled to a dunking boot. If Bruno and his girlfriend hadn't rescued me, I'd still be there. Ren, have you have you watched the uh, the English dub of the Trigger Happy Havoc animation? I have not. That's giving the loudest. It, it's giving Yasuhiro. And I understand. Oh my God! Wait, yeah. <laughs> I understand. That's literally just like. A vo like a voice type or like a, a specific um not accent but um dialect, dialect. yeah but like goddamn <laughs> your appetite's bigger than mine hey man if you'd spent the past eight years on a bread and water diet you'd be scarfing down everything in sight too dude Call me dude one more time. I get to remove one bone from the body of my choice. So where are all the bodacious Bigfoot babes? Take it easy, Max. You don't even like girls. I don't? Dude, are you like having an argument with your belly button? Uh... No. <laughs> oh. Oh. Have you seen Bruno around? I haven't seen the dude since he rescued me. I hear he's hiding out from a crazy bear and bunny who want to drag him off to an evil carnival. Bear? What was that? Guess. I love that little chick if I just bear anyway. Have you heard from Trixie? I guess she's hiding out with Bruno. Have you seen Conroy Bumpus around here? Is he the guy that coined the phrase, hang ten? 
No, he's a country western star gone berserk. Ugh, heinous. I'll let you get back to your food. Mahalo, dude. Struck with a desire to rewatch Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. That's a good movie. Have you seen the Bill and Ted movies? I have never seen them. That that is peak. That is peak. It's it's peak fiction. Excuse me, sir. That's peak fiction. Yeah. <laughs> Has Bruno shown up yet? Keep your voice down. Bruno's involved in a top secret reconnaissance mission to the alien's home planet. Of course. How silly of me to forget. We're all, are we just all on drugs here? Is that... Have you seen Bruno's girlfriend anywhere? Shh! She's helping Bruno contact the aliens. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. You haven't run into Conroy Bumpus, have you? No, but I know how to deal with him. He has a near-fatal vulnerability to ice, like all beings from the evil planet Snarkton. We'll keep that in mind. Okay. Are you good? <laughs> You're the skinniest Bigfoot I've ever seen. I've been fasting in preparation for the day when the aliens come to rescue us. Great. Aren't you the abominable, you know, bubble lover? Never mind. We'll catch you later. Okay, bye. Figure a speech. I wonder if they'll play Yellow River. Can we talk to him? Yeah, we can. <gasps> I've learned the hard way never to talk to a band while they're jamming. Is that a threat? I mean, it's true, but is that a threat? Hey, baby, what's your sign? Property of Vanuatu. Vanuahu? Vanuatu. The Bigfoot Chief. The guy who just gave that speech. My husband. Mm -hmm. Don't sweat it, Junior. If I had a tree for every time a teenage Bigfoot's made a drunken pass at me, we surely wouldn't be in the mess we're in today. Not really. Okay. Bruno! Have you seen Bruno? Bruno? Why, me and Mr. V have known little Bruno since he was knee-high to a pig. Salt of the earth, Bruno is. Nicest, most generous Bigfoot you'll ever meet. Dumb as a post, of course, but generous. Why, Kimba. just the other day I was talking to my manicurist, Kimmy, and I said, Kimmy, that Bruno has got to be the dumbest creature to ever walk the surface of the planet. Then she had the nerve to say, bow, bow, bow. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Have you seen Trixie around here? Trixie? Nice girl. Wonderful human being. Complete fashion victim, of course, but so pleasant. Just last week, I was talking to Katie, my color consultant, and I said, Katie, that Trixie girl wouldn't know a burn noose from a sarong if her life depended on it. Christ. And then she Get said, What? You haven't seen Conroy Bumpus sneaking around, have you? Internationally renowned country western superstar Conroy Bumpus. I've got all his albums. He's the greatest thing since sliced bread. I'd say he's the most gifted entertainer of the 20th century. He's an immoral cretin, of course, but boy can he sing. I was talking to my chiropractor, Karen, just last month, and I said, Karen, that despicable Conroy Bumpus sure has got a pretty voice. And then she said, Oogly, oogly, oogly. Yep. It must be a hoot being married to our commander-in-chief. Oh, it's not that great. Sure, you get to travel, but sometimes you get so lonely. Why, just yesterday, I was telling my therapist, Nancy. Nancy, sometimes it's so lonely to the therapy. And then she said, Gee, your hair smells terrific. You should talk to my hair care specialist, Janet. She does marvelous work. 
Why, just last autumn, she was soaking my head and I said, Janet, you're just about the best hair care specialist I've ever known. Then she had the nerve to say, Adieu. Don't be a stranger. This girl knows how to roast them. <laughs> what choreography? What choreography? Okay. I guess we're moving on now. Let's move on. Let's go. Let's go in the over here. Can we go in the over here? Stop! Sorry, hon. Only Yeti elders are allowed in the pool area. But I want I wanna I wanna go in the pool area. I wanna go in the pool. I want to go in the pool. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, there's a fucking screwdriver. I'm grabbing a screwdriver. Screwdriver. I have a screwdriver. It's always good to have a screwdriver in 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 fucking point-click adventure games, as we all know. <laughs> Ain't none bad ever happened if you have a screwdriver. That's the rule. It's a freezer. You're a freezer. Get him. <laughs> Got get they ass. There's a door. Can we go through the door? Can we go through the door? Yikes! Well, well, well. A Bigfoot. Sure is a scrawny feller. A Bigfoot in the hand is worth two in the bush, Lee Harvey. Uh, sorry, boss. Think nothing of it, old chap. Now be a good lad and pop off to the bus and get the net. Yes, sir, Mr. Bumpus. I feel threatened. I don't like this. I feel threatened. Can I kick your ass? Can I fist fight you? It's my little buddy, ready for action. Get his ass, babe. Don't make a move. Oh. Oh, we're, we're going full. Is that a motherfucking turnabout musical reference? Holy shit! <laughs> Whoa! Yo. <laughs> Don't make a move. Okay, alright. I'm not moving. 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 And see? See? I'm not moving. Don't make a move. I'm really good at not moving. Don't make a move. God damn. Can I... Like, don't make a move. Like, can I? Don't make a move. Okay, all right. There's something you should know, Bumpus. <laughs> you again? I left the net back in Bumpusville. Forget the net. We're gonna disguise ourselves as a Bigfoot. Why? So we can infiltrate their ranks, learn their ways, and pick them off at our leisure. Oh. And no funny stuff, dog boy. Yeah. What if I did nothing but funny stuff? Point your toe, twit. Boy, hey, uh, Max, can you just stop? Like, hey, I wouldn't move if I were you. I'm not moving. Yeah. Hey, Max, why don't you make yourself useful? That was fun. Now future generations will be able to enjoy his atonal war. We killed him. Yay. Are there any more shrimp <laughs> balls back here? Who, who are you? We're the freelance police. We just saved your I don't think hash. they can make a fucking really? makeshift bomb Then in I there. guess it'd be okay to make you honorary Yeti chiefs. Walk this way. <laughs> do you th do you th They're talking about <laughs> so much lore. Can I have your attention, please? Do you th have you ever heard of Ice Nine? <laughs> you ever heard of Ice Nine?
Although it's our tradition to allow only Bigfoots and their dates to these gatherings, these two have shown themselves worthy of our gratitude and our trust. These are a naive people. And so I'm granting them the title of Honorary Bigfoot Chief. So don't mess with them. That's it? Honorary Bigfoot Chief? Where's the cash? We don't want Bigfoot money, Max. It's probably made of tree bark or something. I know, but it's the principle of the thing. <laughs> you may now wander freely about the convention floor without concern for your health. Gee, thanks. Think nothing of it. Follow me. Oh, can we go in the door? <gasps> Yay! Since you have proven yourselves to be friends of the Yeti, I have brought you here to share in our biggest secret. These great totem poles have been gathered from across the world and passed down from generation to generation of Bigfoots. Like fruitcake. We believe they hold the answer to our ultimate salvation, but the secret of their purpose is a riddle we've been unable to fathom. Sounds heavy. Like fruitcake. It's real heavy. Bruno! Bruno. Like fruitcake. Why aren't you at the party? Who can party while their world comes to an end? Most of your mange-ridden brethren, apparently. I told you it was a bad idea to spike the punch. I thought it would loosen up everyone's imagination. No wonder we're facing extinction. Okay, guys, here's the situation. The Bigfoot way of life is rapidly going down the tubes. These totem poles might be able to save us, but A, we don't know what they mean, B, most of us have been partying too much to figure out what they mean, and C, we Bigfoots have a hard time operating in public, if you know what I mean. We wouldn't normally be asking for help, but we're desperate. Well, that's how we get most of our gigs, so why not? Great. Why don't you three get cracking on the totem poles? I'm going to the hot tub. I love the fact that you're openly not being helpful. I respect that so much. He's not my type. Uh, what are we looking at? What are we working with? What is this? Some kind of tornado? That's what I'm asking you. Dentistry? A patron saint of Bigfoots? Looks like a before and after shot. Are you as confused as I am? More so! so. Alright. <gasps> I wanna talk. What do you think that swirly totem pole means? I think it represents a primordial washing machine. I'm not sure what to make of that toothy totem pole. I think it's a graven idol for tooth fairy worshippers. That guy in the campfire totem pole could be just about anybody. Maybe it's Alan Ludden, the late host of Password. Man, I'm sure that's a pole that would have done numbers in 93. That two-headed totem pole is a mystery to me. I think it's the Cushmans. I nah, don't... neither one of them is bald. Maybe it's their wives. Once again, poles that I'm sure would have done fucking numbers. I think I've got something in my eye. Try digging it out with a fork. That always works for me. You're looking hale and hearty, little... I need you to say anything new, please. I'm begging you. Well, that's all. All right. Okay, so... I mean, we do have... Like, the shit from the Mystery Vortex. Can- I mean, can we walk back here? To the fucking- There you go. Can I... 
Sir. Sir. Please come back. Thank you. Sir. Sir. Tell me what's happening. Can you spare a second? Not really. Well, you're but going since to. you're saving my species from extinction, what the heck? What do you make of the first totem pole? As you know, this is a problem that I've been working on for many years. Research strongly suggests this totem pole to be representative of the whirlwind nature of us Bigfoots. Wild and always moving. So, I do have... We'll be back. A thing. I'll be here. Can I, can I give this to you? I can't use these things Shh. together. Can I give this to you? And say, sir? I think I've figured out one of the totem poles. My keen Bigfoot instincts tell me that you're wrong. Okay, fuck me, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> my, keen, my keen Bigfoot instincts tell me you're a bitch. Have you considered? That you're a bitch? Fuck me. Whatever. Sure. Okay. I was not gonna- okay. Yeah, so we're back on. I very clearly have a walkthrough open. We're at the point I was not gonna get that. We're moving on. Okay. <laughs> I would like to leave. Can I leave? Can I go? Do I have to go this way? I have to go this- Can I go? I would like to leave. Can I leave? Please? How do I get the fuck out? <laughs> no, I'm trapped! Do I have to use door? Oh, I think- Fuck. Alright. We're going. We're going. Alright. Where are we going? We're going here. Right. We, go, we go back to Stucky's and we let Max piss again, because God knows this man is a fucking UTI. That... Too late. Can can you come back, please? So my good my good friend Ren. Yeah. We have we have I I, I have a fucking Shake a leg, Max. What what are we thinking about these totem poles? What what are your what are your keen um, puzzle solving instincts telling you? My keen puzzle solving. Well, the second one is probably something we have to go back to the dinosaur place for with the T Rex and like get one of its teeth or something. Um, I have no idea what the others are. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> one looked like a marshmallow, but I have no idea where. <laughs> Me neither. A Dog wizard straight up. A marshmallow. Oh my god. Could you bend this? Sure. Just let me finish this one. You're not gonna cuss me out this time? That's rude. It's rude that you're not being Let's rude see to it. me. Hmm. How's that? Oh, hell yeah. Great. I've got to use this elevator. Oh, shut up! 
You're gonna hate this game. <laughs> Why is there always an extra step? I respect the fact that you have rules and internal logic and must stick to it, but also, oh my god. all four of them and then doing this, but no, fuck it, we're already here. I'm not- <laughs> I'm not leaving again. Why do you have to go the long way, boys? I feel like this one, like that third one, is probably something with the, um, uh, like the vegetable place. I could not tell you what. Literally. I can't use these things together. Oh, 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 hush. Really? I can't use these things together. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck my asshole. Never mind. I still forgot a fucking step. Never mind. We're gonna get all of them and then we're gonna come back. I don't want to keep doing this. Okay. I have- I got nothing for this one. I literally don't know. This I one- I have no idea. <laughs> this one, best guess I have, is, um, the vegetable place. It does look like it's roasting a marshmallow over a fire, which I think does imply we get to do a little bit of arson. I would like to arson. I would- we- I would love nothing more than to commit, like, a little bit of arson. Can I go? I don't indiscriminately Shut use people, except Max. Okay. Alright. Where are we gonna burn something? I wanna burn something. first person to think of it, I won't be the last person, right? I'm not knowledgeable enough about, um, animals, but I, I do know, I do know, there are explicit fix on AO3 of these two. Can we try the vortex? <laughs> Step right I in. I do know this. <laughs> yeah, there are. And so I I am more curious. Because I have not I will say I have not delved into the realm of um, the explicit Sam and Max fix, right? I just wanna know like Did do they like Wow, the snow globe Fully actually sucked in the pseudo-mystical energies of the mystery search. vortex. I was hoping something like that would happen. I need to know how I need to know how much these people know, you know what I mean? <laughs> I can't use these things together. Like, it's sort of one of those, like, like, fun facts, like, oh, did you know that, like, 
It's sort of like the, um, did you know when a kitten has four heads on its penis? Like, the thing where it's like, why do you know that? It's like, I... <laughs> I don't want to explain why I know that, but just know that I know it. Oh, are you interested in, like, animal biology? You can call it that, sure. <laughs> Why did- I just said I wasn't coming back here. What the fuck am I doing? I can't use these things together. We're just gonna drop that and continue. We'll- we'll figure that out later. Unless I do have to do this individually. I don't think I do. Let's go. Let's go figure out this dinosaur shit. That was informative. Hi, my name is Rex. That was informative. No. Hi, my name is Rex. The thunder. That was informative. There we go. Keep your fucking mouth open, girly. I can't use these Shh. things together. Shut up. Drop it. Sam, you said we were on a case. What the fuck? <laughs> I can't take it anywhere. I haven't got enough leverage from here to pull out a tooth. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Oh, did I fuck up the order? Oh, don't tell me I fucked up the order. No. Max, you want to try some kinky shit? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> we finally got the tooth. The whole tooth? Nothing but. We have a dinosaur tooth now. Something homoerotic just happened now. <laughs> Something very homoerotic just happened. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I'm gonna... <laughs> no, I'm sorry. There's no hope here. No. Hope? Hope? No. <laughs> going on here? There's gotta be something here. Oh shit, we do have a picture of a guy. Oh right. Wait, 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 can we... It wasn't roasting, what do you make of it this? was using growing powers. Famed naturalist John Muir, huh? This looks like a zucchini squash to me. I can do this, but it'll take a short while. Are you done? <laughs> Incidentally, we're out of milk. I'll make a note. <laughs> Hello? That one hit a little too close to home. <laughs> Are you, are you expanding upon your domestic dealings in front of this random woman? Well, bye. All right, fine. If you're gonna take a while, then I'm assuming it, this is a leave and come back sitch. Which is just fine. That gives us time to figure out this fucking fourth thing. 
so we've got so this has been one this has been one this has been one uh this was the fishing thing this was the golf or circus home conroy bumpus and the ball of toy Cat's here! Yes, the cat's here! Yes, yes, yes! Can I talk to the cat? <laughs> I why can I talk to the cat? Who the fuck are you? Hey, cute little kitty with a mangled eye. How are you today? Meow. Is that all you can say? Meow meow. I guess he just slipped through the cracks of our public school system. Here, kitty, kitty. Meow. Meow. Sam, I really don't think we're gonna get much out of this. Meow. Sam, I really don't think we're gonna get much out of this. Here's the thing. I need you, Ren, I need you to understand. Yeah. <laughs> when you left during the first stream and I came back, cause I was like, oh fuck, I know what we have to do. And I was like, I'm gonna take care of this about when Ren is gone. This cat showed up. And I was like, holy shit. And then I left, and I came back, and the cat wasn't here anymore. No. And I was like, what the fuck is this fucking cat? Okay. We're going. I don't know where we're going, but we're gonna go. On an adventure, man. We're going on an adventure. <laughs> I do love that, um, their home stream is the only place that gets a full animation of them leaving. Um. You know what, we'll go here just so we can talk to Max, because, because, please tell me. I can't talk to that. It's fucking Max! Yes, you can! What are you talking about? Where did you go? Oh my god, Max, Jesus. Are you as confused as I am? More so. That two headed totem pole is a mystery to me. I think it's the Cushmans. Eh, neither one of them is bald. Maybe it's their wives. I mean, I'll go talk to them. I don't know if it's... I think I've got something in my eye. Try I don't- I don't know if it's, um... Well, that's all. Like... What we're supposed to- I'll go- I, I'll go back. Fuck it, sure. We haven't been to the carnival in forever, let's go! <laughs> Casual trip up to Vermont, let's roll! <laughs> Can we? Damn it. He's not my type. Can we talk to you? You know, I dated a Siamese twin poop. I think that would be- What can I do for- I don't think you can do anything for me. Well, it's back to the Bigfoot hunt. Yeah, we continue down the path if that was not gonna happen. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> I think it's cute, but damn, that was not gonna happen. I do kind of... wonder... Oh, even the bus is gone because they took it to the... That's cute, okay. <laughs> I do kind of wonder if, like, anyone is like, oh, they're like, losing the fucking magic of a point-click adventure by just knowing what to do, and it's like, dog, this is a goddamn anti-frustration tool. It's a pillow, and you, it's got miracle Grow hair tonic all over it. Can I take it? <laughs> Yo, dog, I we stole your pillow. We were never in a million years gonna get Never. <laughs> get never. <laughs> it would be hour four, and we would be like, I don't know what to do. I am lost as fuck. And, like, again, I, like, that is... The... I'll say half of the appeal of, of a point and click is, like, the fucking... <clears throat> the fucking like just try everything and figure it out but like at a certain point <laughs> at a, at a like, certain point it becomes I, like I am frustrated people are frustrated watching this no <laughs> absolutely the fuck not okay uh let's go back here and be like are you done Can we have it? Where's my John Muir vegetable? Oh, great! Here you go, son. A zucchini squash that looks just like John Muir. Gee, thanks, ma'am. Just what I always wanted. Thanks. Bye. Alright. So, I think we have... I think that's it, right? Because we got I think that's, that's four. This. Well, well, we need we need to do we need to use the hair tonic on them and get their hair. Or... I don't. Oh, I don't know. I think we just need the hair. Tonic. I think we just need the. Well, let's find out. <laughs> it, it did have two heads, the totem pole. We'll, we'll, we'll look at it again once we get in, because we're gonna have to pass by it anyway. We're gonna we're gonna decapitate two people and we're gonna throw them in. They're in the sacrifice now. Why does he have a goddamn marshmallow? Good friend John Muir, why do you have a fucking marshmallow? A patron saint of Bigfoots? Yeah, if you want to call it. I wonder if John Muir was the first person who was like, holy fuck, Bigfoot. <laughs> okay, now, okay. I can't use these things together. Why not? Why the fuck not? You just have to give it to him? Maybe. Like just the item. Did it like... Hey, it's empty. Oh fuck, we took too long. No shit. Oh my God, it's on a timer. It, this one specifically oh, is God. on a timer. Are you kidding? Oh Lord. Oh Lord <laughs> in heaven. Oh ah! Christ. <laughs> of course it is. It's a fucking snow globe. It's gonna settle. <laughs> oh, oh, end me. Okay. It's a comedy of errors. This is the worst. <laughs> This is the fucking worst. <laughs> Do you think we could get, like, 
a medal for <laughs> worst. <laughs> Steam achievement worst. Just the worst. <laughs> Just the worst. <laughs> the mo- <laughs> hey, when we're, when oh, we're making the, the uh, when we're making for the comp for this later editor, I want you to smack just a big old worst. <laughs> worst. Give us a goddamn. Give us a goddamn ribbon. It just says worst on it. I'm sure people are worse than us. That's <laughs> this. Uh, <laughs> I love this series, but oh my god. Can we try the you vortex? At least we don't have to fucking step pay right money in to, to to do this, right? Like that is true. We don't have like limited funds in this game because they're like you're gonna fuck up so bad. Okay. Wow, the snow globe actually sucked in the pseudo mystical energies of the mystery vortex. I was hoping something like that would happen. I'm gonna cry. Okay. Let's go. Let's run. And then just like go. run. Run, run, run. We gotta go, we gotta go right now. <laughs> you said it. Let's fucking go. We have to go. Hey, it's empty. It is not. What do you... What are you fucking? Oh. No, I see what the problem is. I see what the problem is. It's not that it's on a time limit. It's that nothing's on the bottom. <laughs> oh. What do we put on the bottom? We need like like a fucking like cork thing or something, right? Like, hold on. <laughs> Oh, hold on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, alright, alright. Everything's okay. <laughs> oh, God, what order are you assuming I'm doing this in? Okay. Well, you know what? We got everything else pretty good. That, I'll count that. Oh, suck my dick, dude. Suck my dick. Okay, never mind. All right. <sighs> We're just like rapidly going from like, Nevada to Washington repeatedly. <laughs> Is this what Bella Swan felt like? <laughs> Probably. Chateau Sasquatch 92. A very bad year. So can I use this? That seems to have gotten the cork off. Shall we raise a toast to nuclear disarmament? With this poison? Don't be silly. <sighs> okay, and then we go... Back... <laughs> to fucking Washington! Alright, no, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Home stretch now, baby. <laughs> we can do it, we're gonna get this goddamn snow globe. <laughs> We're gonna beat this game. We're gonna beat this game. This is the man. I made a I made a joke to Red that like now that we knew what was happening, we're gonna beat this game in like 90 minutes, and I can't believe the only reason we're not is because I fucked that up seven times. That's that's good. That's oh, I'm gonna get shat on so like you know what? <laughs> Maybe it's okay. Maybe this is one of the few instances in which not being a popular content creator is good, actually. 
<laughs> you know. <laughs> okay. That seems to have capped the snow globe. And so we're gonna go back in here. Can we try the vortex? Step right in. <laughs> and we're gonna get our fucking snow globe. <laughs> oh god. Wow, the snow globe actually. I was hoping. <laughs> Christ in heaven. <laughs> well, we finished. <laughs> <laughs> we Welcome finished to part seven. 17 of us trying to beat this five hour game. We find we got seven max. <laughs> <laughs> we beat it. We beat it. Now, on to the games that have actual meat to them. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that... God. I'd say it hurts, but it's more just expected. Alright. <laughs> Sure, will this lead us out back? Where the fuck did we go? Nothing back there. Oh my god! My man! Oh shit, wait, can I talk to you? Because you're not playing? I've learned the hard way never to talk to a band while they're jamming. They're not jamming! <laughs> There's no music playing! Alright. <sighs> now! Again, sir. sir! I think I figured out one of the totem poles. Let me see. There was an opening on the bottom. You didn't have to crack it like an egg. A handheld vortex. Good thinking. Thinking had nothing to do with it. I can assure you. <laughs> that was a second like, one of the fucking. Why do you have to keep walking? Hey, Chiefy Poo. I think I figured out one of those baffling totem holes. <laughs> A genuine dinosaur tooth. I figured it might be something like that. Did he say genuine? interest you in an eggplant shaped like John Muir. That's the worst pickup line I've ever heard. Of. I believe we've deduced the secret of one of your totem poles. Hit me. Hit me baby one more time. You gonna French kiss it? I thought you were gonna throw it up your ass. It would be so real. <laughs> Combination of man and nature. Inventive. Is it soup yet? I mean, it's got vegetable and liquid. I think that's soup. It's soup. Hey, Mr. Chief. We found something that might tie into your totem poles. Yeah? W what is it? Oh, this jacket's disgusting. You know what 
I mean, that, that, that type Hair is growth so tonic. Shit. Very resourceful. We just like stealing pillows. Well, that should do it, right? Nothing's happening, Sam. What's the story, Pops? Oh, I don't know. I'm sure you got the ingredients right, but... Of course. How silly of me. What? In order for the spell to work, we need a living Bigfoot sacrifice. It'd be a shame to lose one of these furry fellas, don't you think? Wait, I've got an idea. And it doesn't require high explosives. Wait here. While he's gone, I'll go see if any of the Bigfoots wants to off themselves for the greater good. I don't like that we're leaving Max alone. <laughs> oh, right. That'll kill him. was one heck of an impressive display. And actually highly destructive to boot. Goodbye, Sam and Max. I'm not sure how I could ever thank you, so I guess I won't. Will you and Trixie be heading back into the forest to live an idyllic nature-oriented existence together? Hell no. We're going to Vegas to get hitched. If it hasn't been trashed by all this crazy redwood nonsense. We want to be in a place where we can sort of blend in. Live our lives. Maybe even raise a family. Ew. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, you nutsy primitive man beast, you. I can you only boys should ahead. be proud of what you've helped us achieve here today. You mean the wholesale destruction of the symbols of modern civilization in the Western United States? You bet we are. Do we win a prize? Well, oh, why not? This medallion has been a part of my family for untold generations. Wear it in good health. Thanks, Chief. Max loves cheap sentiment. Mmm! Foil covered chocolatey goodness! What's wrong, Sam? I don't think the wizard has anything in that bag for me. Well, I could give you my ritual headdress that I bought at Snucky's last week. I appreciate the gesture, but I've already got a hat. Well, that's fine, too. Farewell, Sam and Max. Remember, though the night be dark, the dawn yet shall awaken and annoy you. Have a nice day. I'll miss that old rascal. I'll miss the way he smelled like a bag full of damp hamster shavings. Just like Grandpa. Hey, we forgot to get paid. Don't worry, little buddy. I've got it all covered. I hope you're happy. With those idiots on the case, we'll probably never see Bruno again. Oh, lighten up, Burl. Hey, they're back. Did you find Bruno? Of course. Bruno! How can we ever repay you? The blank looks on your faces are the only reward we need. That and a big fat check. Would you settle for 3,000 skee-ball tickets? Close enough. Let's go, Max. You know, Max, I can't help thinking that we've foolishly tampered with the fragile inner mechanisms of this little spaceship we call Earth. Gosh, Sam, if a few hundred years of civilization have to be total just to ensure that a bunch of smelly quasi-human creatures have a safe haven for their disgusting lifestyles, then so be it. You crack me up, little buddy. Burl, did Bruno always have four arms?
so yeah, it's just this is all my focus. But anyway, yeah, that's a uh, that <laughs> that's Sam and Max at the road, baby. Woo. Um, I think I don't know if they'll let me go back into it because we did. Take it. Um, I don't know if I frankly care about them, but I know they're there. There's a... I think there's a gate. There's, 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 there's a battleship there. And then there's one... I know there's one on the high. Which is I think the one that was on the high. <laughs> Fucking spiel. Hold on. Drinks with the priestess. Oh, Is this music? I have not been. Nifty Sam and Max magnets. I want Nifty Sam and Max magnets. Yeah, this game came out in uh, 1993, based on the line of comics by uh, Steve Parcell that I think started coming out in 1987. Uh, it would be not necessarily a band. Harry Eddy on bass. Man, I'm sure those names were all really good. Very big toy store down the street. It wouldn't be until I think 2006. Um, you can stop. Can I? No, really. Oh, are you? Are you fucking? Uh, Oh, what's the movie? Shit. The only name coming to mind is Bueller's Day Off, and that's not right. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Okay. I knew you fucking lied to me. I'm not a quitter. Um, yeah, I don't think it would be in 2006 that Sam and Max Sam and World would come out. Um, there was a children's cartoon show. We're talking about like Peaks at AM. Um, that came out in, like, in 97 through early 98. That got cancelled, I think, after one season. Um, uh, it did have a solid, like, I think, 26 episodes. Two of them, like, like mostly split into, like, two 11-minute segments. Um, and I think two episodes that were fully, like, one episode. Um, and all of those episodes are, like, fully available on YouTube. Um, legally, I don't know, but I know they're there. Um... <laughs> That's all I kind of got for my fucking info dump right now. Uh, Ren, how, how are you feeling about our earth?
good. But we made it in the end, and that's what really matters. So true. And it was, it was a fun little romp. When we were keep going until like, stop. <laughs> my... Oh my god, I. <laughs> We're, we're here forever. We might be here forever. We might be here forever. Alright, I'm gonna let it run. Um, I was fully expecting that to kinda end somewhere. Alright. Um, again, I... <sighs> there's no way in hell. There's no way in hell. Oh, good news. We're at 15 hours remaining on this download run. Oh. It's gone yeah. up from the, th <laughs> from the last. Oh, hours. did we just jump? We've jumped to 32. I love this. This is great. Um, so here's the thing. I didn't really have a plan for the rest of this. Um, and I don't think sitting here for three hours playing this is going to be... Probably not. <laughs> good for anybody. Um, so I think we're just, like, just kind of gonna call it, unless... No, I don't think it's gonna be that entertaining. Um... I do want to give a shout-out, though, to the old, like, um... Guidebooks and stuff that came with this game originally, and thank God that, um, Steam has preserved. Because they include, like, whole, like, I was gonna say they just include comics, but no, like, straight up, there's a whole, like, thing in here. Like, there's a whole written thing in here. It's, like, chapters and shit. Oh my god, there's a baby Sam and Max comic. Oh my god. Oh, they're babies. Baby Sam and Max, my beloved. Yeah, there's like a whole, there's like a whole thing in here. Oh, that's really cool. All right, no, but the focus juice is wearing off. So I, think, I like, <laughs> I think we just gotta go. Um. Next week, though, hopefully, if my Switch ever gets its fucking act together, um, next week, um, we will not be continuing the Sam and Max series just yet. Um, we're gonna jump back to an old friend, um, from many moons ago. Uh, if it's any kind of... Uh, 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 hint or anything, uh, it was the first game that I ever played with Ren on here. Um, uh, well, it's not that game, it's the next one. But, I am, I am excited to get back to that motherfucker. Me too. <laughs> there, there, I've heard tales and stories and I'm excited. New men for us to objectify. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. There haven't been that many men for us to objectify in this game. Uh, but yeah, uh, I guess short stream today. I didn't really have a backup plan. Um, next week, though, next week we're gonna get wild with it again. Uh, I guess I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, night, wherever you are. And we will see these two gay-ass bitches some other time, some other venture. And until next time. Bye! Bye!